Hey y'all, today we're up here on the roof and I'm going to show you how to vent a plumbing pipe through the roof. So let's get started. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just using a plumb bob to try and figure out where I need to drill the hole. I want it to be directly over the pipe fitting down below. All right, now I'm ready to start drilling the hole through the roof. As you can see, I have a very long arbor bit with this hole saw. This is gonna allow me to drill this hole the way I need to with this steep slope roof. Um, so when you're drilling this hole, you want to make sure you keep the drill perpendicular to the ground, because that is how the pipe runs. So you don't want a perfect circle going through the roof. You actually want an ellipse shape. This is what it should look like once you're finished drilling. I'm gonna start drilling from inside, from the underneath. This roof is so steep, it's an 11-12 pitch. So when I start to drill, it won't let me go all the way through before the whole saw bottoms out. So I'm gonna to have to drill part of it from underneath and then go up top and drill the rest of it. Okay, now I'm up on top of the roof and I'm gonna go ahead and finish drilling the hole. The next thing you want to do is line up the boot over top of the hole. That way you know where it is going to sit. You want the flanges of this roof boot to slide up under the shingles. And in order to do this, you're going to have to cut out part of the shingles around the section where the roof boot sticks up. Here's a picture to give you an idea of what you need to cut out. It is going to be a horseshoe shape. So right here, I am just marking the sides and the top of where this boot sticks up. That way I know where I need to cut. Now I am just using a razor blade to cut the top layer of shingles where I marked. Okay, next you are going to slide the roof boot into place just to make sure it fits in the hole that you cut out of the shingles. It's possible that there might be a few roofing nails in your way. If there are, just put a pry bar up under the shingle and pry up the nail that is in your way. Now you want to put some caulk on the underside of the flange. You want to put it on the top and the sides, but not on the bottom. Now that the boot is in place, you want to secure it with some roofing nails. 
I'm just going to use two and I'm going to put one on each side and I'm going to put them where they are going to be covered by the shingle. The next step is to use some caulk to seal the joint between the roof boot and the shingle. You want to do both sides and the top. I try to get it under the shingle where I can and also on top of the joint. Here's what it looks like once you have the boot secured and sealed. Okay, now we're back inside. Um, my dad is holding a long section of two inch pipe and he has it pushed through the hole in the roof sheathing. It is not pushed through the roof boot yet. And what I'm gonna do is I am marking about a foot longer or a foot past where the pipe fitting is that we're gonna connect it to. Here in North Carolina, the vent pipe has to extend at least six inches past the top of the roof or the height of an anticipated snowfall, whichever is higher. So I'm going to make it to where it sticks out about a foot out of the roof. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut the pipe. Another thing that you want to watch out for is you want to make sure you don't have any sharp edges on the outside of the pipe that you're going to be pushing through the rubber boot. If you do, it's possible that it could make a little cut in the rubber and it might leak later on. So I am using a deburring tool to smooth out the edges on top of this pipe. Now I am just putting the primer and PVC cement on the pipe and the fitting, getting ready to put them together. One thing you want to be careful with when doing this, you don't want to push the vent pipe too far out the roof or out the boot. Um, you only want to bring it up just enough to clear the edge of the fitting and then push it down in the fitting. If you go up several inches and then have to bring it back down to the fitting, then the rubber boot is going to invert down around the pipe. And anytime you're gluing PVC together, you want to hold it together for 30 seconds so that it doesn't push itself apart. All right, y'all, we are finished. Here's what it looks like from the inside and from the outside. One thing I did do is paint the pipe on the outside with some black spray paint. That way it'll blend into the roof. And as always, thanks for watching.